Welcome back to the ABC Networking YouTube channel. My name is Dobias Veninger. Last week I created a video that I hope all you liked and saw around um, show interfaces and how you can use show interfaces or customize the show interfaces commands to your needs on the Aruba OS to make sure you get much quicker more information or you can troubleshoot um, interface issues uh, sooner. So this time and I think I already promised all of you in the last video that I will create another one is around a new feature that is just released in the 1601 release uh, around cable diagnostics or so let's have a little bit of a look where you can find that feature so first of all if you go to the release notes and you uh, on the KV uh, 1601 release this is up to the uh, Euler Packet Enterprise global website so the public website you can download the software you can download the release notes what I always do is go to the enhancements and in the enhancements I can see all the additional features that have been added. Yes, you can see in this feature there have been added a lot of different new feature. The feature that we're going to focus this video on is on the time domain reflectometry. And I'm not going to say this another 10 times, so please, because I'm not a native language speaker and I know I probably pronounce this wrong, I do my best, but um, I'm going to name this the TDR. And as you can see, you can read briefly what this TDI feature is and on what particular platform it is supported. In order to get more information, I'd rather go to the manual. I already opened it. So you can go to the switch uh, management and configuration guide of this particular software release. And for this feature, you need to go to Appendix C where you can find the TDI feature. So let's go briefly to this feature. So the TDI feature is a port feature supported on the Aruba uh, 3810M switches and the 5400R V3 blades. So that's important. And what you can do, you can use it to detect cable faults on 100 base TX and 1000 base T ports. So the supported platform are 3810M and the 5400R V3 blades with these particular uh, modules. So it is not supported on the smart rate, but I, we will get to the uh, to the to the uh, uh, to the limits or to, of this feature, so that we know what is able to do and what is not to do. Uh, the virtual cable test uses the exact same command as the TDR. Only virtual cable test is applicable for gig T transceivers like copper transceivers. Um, so that's more for the transceiver part. And what you have to Keep in mind that the VCT, so the virtual cable test results, include distance to the fault, but not the cable length. So I think that's an important, uh, important remark here. So let me go down. So what are we going to do? Is in this demonstration we're going to do test cable des diagnostics commands. We will run that on a port, so I'm not going to show that too much in here. And then we're going to do show diagnostics because we want to see, okay, what is the cable length or where is a potential problem? So that the way you can use it. So let's go quickly to the limitation. So TDR has a following limitation. I'm using very short cable lengths here because in my tiny private lab. Um, so TDR has a length accuracy of plus minus five meters. So don't watch the cable length too much that I'm using here in my lab. But uh, normally in a large environment, where cable is running on the ground or into specific uh, uh, cable places then you normally have longer cables or you have a, uh, a combination of patch cable uh, to a patch port and then from the patch board you get to maybe another patch board or to a switch port so these cables are, are longer in general. Um, TDR is not supported on smart rate interfaces with 10 10G base T and NG base, so 2.5 or 5 gig copper, uh, available on version 3 blades and 3810M uh, ports 1 to 8. So that's uh, in particular what I'm using. It's not supported on version 2 ZL modules and it's only valid on um, 100 base TX and 1000 base T ports. So I think this is important to, uh, to know and here you can see how you can use the feature. Then one other thing I uh, want to more or less use as a refreshment is pinout. That's important to keep in mind. So 100 base T is only is using port 1 and 2 for transmit and port 3 and 6 for receive. And uh, 
1000 base C is using all ports. So that's important to uh, keep in mind when we look at the results. So let's go to my console connection. I'm already in here. Let's first have a little bit of a look. I'm using uh, port 9 to 11 here. So that's the interface I'm using for this test. Two of the interfaces are up and they are running on uh, 1000 base T. One is running on MDIX uh, because I'm using a crossover cable there. So uh, that's important to see. And the other one running is, is on uh, port 11 MDI. Okay, so let's have a little bit of a look and see what we can do. So let's first start with port 9, for example. We can type in the command test cable, diagnostic port 9, and we say yes. Keep in mind that, you, that uh, this command will cause a loss of link uh, on the tester's port and it can several seconds to be completed. So let's say yes. So it is being tested now. So now we do show cable diagnostics. And what you can see here, we tested port 9. And remember the ports that I set, the, the pairs being used. I'm using one gigabit, so that means all pairs are being used. And you can see the distance or distance to fault. Uh, and this time, everything OK, the, the distance of that particular MDI pair is 4 meters. But remember, we had a plus minus 5 meter um, uh, uh, accuracy there. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. So, but we can also test another port. So let's say, for example, test port, uh, test port 11. Yes. And then we can do, if you do show cable diagnostics, you can see we also have a giga, the cable is not here. You can see it's also okay. So let's, for example, put my interface on 100 base T. Configure. Go to advanced settings on the connection type. We will select 100 base T full duplex. Okay. Let's have a little bit of a look if that went correctly. Show brief. Uh, show me these interfaces. And as you can see, interface 11 went to 100 uh, base T. So now if we run the same test again on this particular interface, yes. And we do show cable diagnostics now. You can see that only the first, so only pair one and two and three to six are tested, and the other ones are open because they are not used. Because in one on the base T, we were using one and two to uh, transmit by default, and three and six to receive. Yeah. So that's important to figure out if you know. So you already know what kind of interface you're dealing with if you do this diagnostics, and you potentially know uh, where the problem is. So what happened if I, on the same interface, I remove this cable and run the test again? So now the, the cable is removed. And if I do show cable diagnostic, you can see that you have an open circuit there. So there is an issue. There is no nothing connected to this particular cable. So this way you can find out if you have a fault cable or maybe somebody tapped in your cable to see where the problem is because you see reflecting signals in the TDR functionality um, and if cables are underground or in very tough situation you can via software very quickly uh, figure out where something is wrong so I think this is a very nice feature that enhances the troubleshooting tool set you have on the Aruba iOS uh, switches I hope you like this video please any other ideas that you want to see video on post it on the YouTube channel hope you like it and that way we can keep on going making all these videos for you. Bye-bye.